Tari, so imagine after the win against Rotherham on Tuesday night, the mood in the dressing room is pretty good at the moment. Yeah, of course. I mean, with any game, uh, to score six goals, um, play as well as we did and be as dominant as we were, I think it's a great positive thing for everyone. So everyone's buzzing and I think everyone just wants to get to the next game and try and replicate and uh, give another good performance. Was it a night when everything seemed to click into place? Yeah, I felt it was. I mean, uh, everything went right for us, tactics, um, the way we the way we expected them to play. So I think we were well prepared for what we were going to face. Obviously, we played them not too long ago as well, at the start of the season. So I think we were well prepared, well, well prepared and yeah, it just all went well. How much confidence can you take from not only the performance but the result as well? Yeah, I mean, for anyone uh, that was involved, it's a good performance and good confidence. I mean, winning in that manner, I think, gives anyone confidence and especially the players that played and scored and had an influence in the game, I think is will do them the world of good. Four wins on the bounce at home. Was the home form something as a squad you wanted to address this season? Yeah, of course. I mean, our home form last year wasn't good enough. Um, definitely second half of the year, I didn't think it was. we were strong enough at home. I mean, uh, our away form was better than our home form, which in reality should be the other way around but that was something that we definitely wanted to correct and we're on the right right path to be doing that. For you it was another left footed finish in that game, where does that confidence come from to be able to know that you're going to score in those sort of situations? Uh, it's just uh, believing in myself really, I mean I feel I can beat any player on my day or whenever I get the ball in the box or around the box I feel like I can always take on a player and get the better of them so that's just more down to me and believing in what I can do. It was your first start of the season, it must be good to be back in the side. Yeah, it's never never nice to be sitting on the sidelines watching watching the game, but I supported the lads and it's just nice to be back in and around it now and getting involved and contributing. And you were unfortunate in the previous game against Millwall with that header in the last minute, you must have thought that was in, did you? Yeah, I mean, it's not much you can do when, it, when it's not your day, it's not your day, so just obviously pick ourselves up and we went again, like what we did on uh, Tuesday. Over the summer there's been quite a few players come into this squad, what's that been like to be a part of? Uh, well obviously I've been here so long so I've seen a lot of players come and a lot of players go so obviously we lost a, a few players that have been here for a few years so obviously it's a bit different now but it's nice, I mean it's a different kind of team now and new faces, new bodies so it's just one of them where you just take it in your path and we've got to go just carry on because we all want the same thing so we've just got to work together. Has it kind of given a freshness to the whole place? Yeah, I'd say so, definitely. I mean, um, it does, as it is with any new signing, it definitely freshens the squad up and like, it's good competition for places um, because there's not been like that many attacking players in my, for me anyway, in a long time. So it's good, good competition, good, uh, good battle. So whoever, it means everyone's on it in training, which is good. The players have come from different parts of the globe. How have they settled into life here? Yeah, I think everyone's settled in quite well. Um, obviously, some can speak better English than others, so it's a little bit harder for others. But no, I think everyone's settled in well and the squad's, the squad's, it's a good squad. There's a player who's probably one of the more experienced now in English football in the squad. Do you find yourself passing on advice to some of the players now? Um, yeah, obviously, I'm, I've been here a long time now. Um, played pretty much every team, I'd say, in the league that's in the league this season. So I, I do as, as best I can, you know, to help them out. Like Emil, obviously, you know what it's like, they're hostile, so I just... Like me and a few of the other boys that have played there just said like, listen, it's hostile, just focus on the game and don't get like distracted by the fans or anything like that. So it's nice to be able to, to do that at, for me, such a young age. So, yeah, it's nice. Obviously, you mentioned earlier there's been quite a few players coming to the squad in an attacking position. Is that a challenge that you relish as a forward to, to push you on? Yeah, of course. I mean, for any player, they'd say competition is good. Um, it doesn't let you like sort of get complacent it means you have to be on it every day and bring everything and put everything into training which is good and i think it only is better for the squad when when uh, the team are like that is it good as well to have so many attacking options to to perhaps take defenders away from you to hopefully give you more space on the pitch yeah i mean if you look at the players that we brought in there's like a lot of players that can go one-on-one -on -one, can hold the ball up well can run in behind can come to feet so all different aspects in the front line I think is good to not all the same player and it all it changes what the other team expects so it's hard to really defend against. You're 24 in December, do you view this as a big season for yourself? Yeah definitely, um, definitely a big season for me, um, I'm, not, I'm not getting any younger and I've got to for me 
go out there and score as many goals as I can and prove myself and prove that I can do it consistently week in, week out. So, yeah, definitely. It's Preston on Saturday. You obviously scored against them last season. What sort of challenge are you expecting this time? Um, strong defensive team, work hard, um, just battle. So it'll be, it'll be a, definitely be a good battle. And obviously they're, they're doing well this season, started this season well. So they'll be, have some confidence. So, yeah, it'll be a tough game, but I'm sure we can, uh, as long as we do what we, we know we can do, um, I'm sure we'll be fine.